welcome back. We've got an empty lotto barrel today and we're ready to get started on something new. We have been running uh, Bahia agates in our 12 pound barrel for quite some time now. I bet it's been two months or longer since we put the first ones in there and we just add a little bit every week on that barrel until we've got them all in there and we've got them all ready to move to the next stage. So all these are brand multiple weeks in the 4670 coarse grit and now we're ready to get them going on medium grit in the lotto tumbler. Pretty excited to see how they turn out. A lot of them are really nice. Get our water going on. And if you've never seen the Bahias, they have a lot of bands in them. This one's a little bit not, not as typical as some of the other ones, but if I get it wet, you can see, well, on that one you can't see a whole lot more on it when it's wet, but... Some of these have a lot of cool stuff going on, like this one. It's got some quartz pockets sticking through from the middle and a bunch of just different patterns going on. A lot of them have a bunch of bands on them like this. And a lot of them have a bunch of eyes and stuff. This one's got a really nice, get it wet. It's got a really cool quartz pocket with some agate in the middle. And then this side also has some quartz on it. And you can see some of the bands going on right there with the quartz all around it. So yeah, there's a lot of these that look really cool. I'm really excited to get them polished. So we'll just get these dumped in. This is one that we ran in the 12 pound barrel for a long time. It was a really big one. And it's got some pretty neat stuff on the outside. A bunch of reds and yellows. Some bands. I almost forgot about this one that it's been in there. It's been in there ready to go to the next stage for quite a while. But I've been waiting until the rest of them are ready. So that one I'm pretty excited about. That one's going to go in our collection for sure. So we've got all the agates in there. We'll do a little ceramic media. And that looks good for now. And I'll go ahead and get the water dumped out so everything in the barrel is wet with no standing water and we'll go get set up on the lotto and get them going on medium grit. All right, everything's wet, no standing water. We'll get it rolling and we'll do a tablespoon of the 120-220 uh, silicon carbide and I usually run it for about a day and a half and then I'll dump it and rinse it and then do another tablespoon for that same time period because if I do two tablespoons I feel like I have a hard time keeping it running especially if I'm away from it for a while like if you're at work or whatever I just feel like I have a hard time keeping it rolling so we broke it up into two steps and it's been working out so. Bahia agates finished with the the cycles of medium and I've dumped them and washed them and put them back into the tablespoon of borax and did a little wash cycle now we're ready to rinse those off and we'll take a look at them and get them going on to 500 grit I usually when I put the borax in I use a tablespoon and I'll let it go for a couple hours. All right, there we are. Everything's looking real nice. 
I will go ahead and go through them and wash them a little better. Because there's a few of them that had a couple little pinholes here and there. I want to make sure we don't transfer any grit to the next stage. And I'll scrub the barrel up a little better. And we'll get over to the lotto and get them going on the 500 grit aluminum oxide. All right, everything's all scrubbed up. And everything's wet, no standing water. We're going to get them going on 500 grit aluminum oxide. And we will do a half a teaspoon of aluminum oxide and a tablespoon of borax. And we'll go for three days. Bahia egg, it's finished up three days in the 500 grit aluminum oxide and I dumped them and rinsed it all out and put them back in for a few hours with a tablespoon of borax just to run a little wash cycle on them. Everything looks really nice. They're getting nice and smooth. Maybe I will pull a couple out and let them dry before we put them back in the tumbler for the thousand grit. But I'll go ahead and clean them up a little better and wash the barrel up. And we'll get moved over to the lotto and get them going on the next stage. All right, everything's all washed up back in the barrel. We're ready to go on to the next stage. But I did pull a couple out and let them dry. And I just want to say that if you're using silicon carbide, I had good results with it. But after 500 on silicon carbide, or even 1,000 silicon carbide, it really didn't start to have any shine to it yet. But these things look pretty awesome, even after just 500 on the aluminum oxide. It just shines them up so much better. Even at 500 aluminum oxide, they almost look polished. They look really nice. These two are dry. So... I'm really impressed with how that works compared to the silicon carbon. I used it for a long time just because that's what I had. And I moved over to the aluminum oxide and I've been really happy with it. So they look pretty shiny already after 500. We're still going to run 1,000 and the polish stage on it. So, I mean, they look really good. So we're ready to go to 1,000. We'll do a tablespoon of borax and a half a teaspoon of the 1,000 grit aluminum oxide. Bahia agates finished up three days in thousand grit and I dumped them. I added the extra water and dish soap to get the slurry off and then I dumped them and rinsed them and went back in with some 
a tablespoon of borax to do a little wash cycle. And we'll take a look and we'll get them going to polish. I've polished some of these agates before and I didn't spend near as much time in coarse grit as I did this time. So these ones look a lot nicer. They're looking really good. There's a few flaws over here and there, things that would be nearly impossible to get rid of, but for the most part, they look really nice. So I'll wash them up a little better and clean the barrel up and we'll get back over to the tumbler and we'll get them going on polish. Everything is all washed up and wet. No standing water. We're gonna get them rolling with a half a teaspoon of the aluminum oxide polish and a tablespoon of borax and we'll go for three days. Bahia agates ran for three days in polish and I already dumped them and rinsed the polish and everything off and I put them back in with some borax. I do a tablespoon and I ran for a few hours. Did a little wash cycle. We'll uh, rinse them off here, take a look at them. I'll go ahead and scrub any polish out of any holes or anything like that and let them dry before we take a better look at them. These things are looking really nice. I'm pretty happy with this batch so far from what I've been seeing. But, like I say, we'll pull them all out of the media and wash any polish out of any holes. And then we'll see if they still look shiny when they're dry. We'll take a closer look at them. We've got the Bahia agates all pulled out of the ceramic media. And they're all dried up. And they turned out really good. They've got a good shine. We'll go ahead and move the camera over and we'll get a closer look at some of them. See some of my, my favorites. So these Bahia agates are known to have a lot of eyes like that. And then also a lot of bands. And then quite a few of them have like quartz pockets on them. Like you can see the, I don't know if you can quite see the crystals in that one of the quartz. But on some of them you can see it a lot better. And then... You've got all your bands. You can almost see a band of quartz running through that one at the bottom there. And then all the bands of agate. This one's got a really nice quartz pocket on it with the bands running all the way around it. It's got a hole in it right there, but that was a really deep hole we weren't going to get rid of, so it's something we have to live with. Pretty cool bands on the backside, too. And these things shine up awesome. They're pretty hard, so it takes a while to get them shaped in coarse grit, but once you get them shaped the way you want them and you get them polished up, they take a nice shine. That one's got some pretty neat bands on it. A couple of eyes on the back side. Oh, if I can, yeah, you can see they're very shiny. Can't complain about that. Oh, little pinhole right there. Darn. Sometimes you got to spend a lot of time checking them over. You can miss something like that, especially if you look at them wet. If I look at them dry, I feel like I catch that stuff a little bit better than looking at them wet. But, Let's see. This is one that I cut, and you can see all the cool bands going on inside. They're really faint all the way down to the middle. And that's. It looked like this on the outside, which is pretty cool. You can see some bands there. 
but I wanted to see what was on the inside, and after cutting it, it definitely is just as cool, if not cooler, on the inside than it is on the outside. And you can see it's just a mere shine. They polished up super nice. What else do we have here? This one's got a lot of quartz on it. It's kind of got some yellow staining. Probably iron, I believe. Stains it yellow like that a lot. But that side there, you can see all the big crystals. And then you can see some of the banding. And it has some eyes on this side. So it's got a lot of stuff going on. A couple of cracks in it, but... You'll get to learn that you either got to tumble them forever, grind on them, or you have to eventually live with a few cracks. This one also has a pretty cool quartz pocket on it with all those bands going on. Kind of see how it had a layer of quartz there, and it still has a little bit of agate poking through there. Tried to make sure that I didn't tumble that off so you had that, that look to it. It looks pretty cool. I like that one. What else do we have here? This one's kind of a thinner one, but you can see all the bands running all the way through it, all the layers. It was starting to flake on this side right here, but as that edge gets thinner, it keeps chipping and chipping if it's not basically connected very well so that whole top could have popped off but it didn't and you can see back here it kind of blends in so if I tumbled it to where it got all the way back to there I might got away from that chipping but I wanted to leave it the way it was oh uh, let's see here this one's got this is probably one of my favorites I really like this one it's got the all the bands on the bottom and then a bunch of eyes on top. The only thing is with some of those eyes, they have a hole in the inside because it, it would be like a bubble probably, I'm assuming, and then it didn't fully seal or whatever form in the middle, so it had a little hole in it. So as you tumble that away and see the eye, you get to the point where you see the hole. But this thing's got some cool bands on it. I actually cut this side if I remember right. So I think I have the other half of it in here someplace, but I don't know exactly where it is. But I really like the bands on that one. I don't know if that would be moss in there almost. But yeah, that one turned out really nice. Here's another one that has some quartz in it. And you can see that the quartz is a little softer because it kind of ate that out faster than it did the the agate because the agate's a little bit harder but it's just got really cool bands running all the way around that quartz you can just see the layers it's got some eyes on the top here a little bit of fractures but I like that part and all those bands And here's another one like that. This one's got really cool bands on it too. I like that one. And again, a quartz pocket on it. You can see the crystals. Let's see what the other sides have. Oh, the other side looks about the same. Not as it doesn't get down to the quartz though. It's got egg or agate all the way across it. So I really like the side with the quartz on it. And then, this is another banded one. Not a lot of excitement on this one, other than the bands. That's in the, in the material. Kind of looks like polish it's still on there, but it don't come off. This one has, this side has the agate and it just shined up really nice and you can see some of the bands and some of the layers but the bottom of it has a 
big, it's got a big chip in it right there and a big hole in it basically there. And you can see it's all fractured up. But for the most part, I think it kind of healed back together. But the top of it just looks really cool. Big fracture there, but again, another thing I wasn't going to deal with. I didn't want to lose that much material. All right. Let's see. Here's another, that other one that had the quartz pocket on the inside that had all the bands. That was one that I cut, and this is the other half. You can see all those bands. all the way around and then the top has a little bit of cracking and chipping but again I thought that the bands and everything were really cool and I didn't want to lose all that so we called it good I've got one here that's my favorite but we'll save that more towards the end this one's got some pretty cool things going on some bands and some quartz Got some eyes. Pretty good fracture running through that one too. I would almost had to break that and I would end up with two really small ones. This is the part of it that I really like though, so we kept it all together. Uh, here's a little one that's got some pretty cool bands on it. Little band of quartz running through there. Got some eyes. Uh, we looked at the other half of this one earlier. This is another one that I cut. And you can see it had a, a crystal pocket on the inside where it hadn't formed completely. But it's got all those bands. And some eyes also. Um, this is a, another little guy, but it's got lots of banding going on. I really like this one. That thing just has so much. Looks like a little explosion over here, and it's kind of spraying out. It's got an eye right there in the middle. It's got all that banding. I really like that banding pattern on this one. Yeah, for a little one, that one is pretty darn cool. It's got eyes, bands, cool patterns. That one's really nice. And this is a little bit different. It's got some quartz, but you can see there's layers of agate on top of the quartz there, and on the bottom you can see some banding. Almost looks like waterline or water level banding. I'm not sure if it is, or if it's just part of the. Some of the bahias have the white uh, banding on them. This one's a little bit different. It's pretty fractured up. It's got lots of fractures running through it, but I love the colors of it and the pattern on this side. It just looks a little different than the rest of them. A lot darker. And this is another one that I cut, and this was the outside. So it, it's got some really cool bands on it, but I wanted to see what the inside looked like, and it basically looked just about like the outside. There wasn't anything exciting on the inside. I mean, it's got cool bands and everything, but I thought maybe we might find something really neat inside, so that's why 
I decided to cut a few of them just to see what we could find. And what else do we have here? This one's got the quartz in it again. Some really fine bands on the bottom there. It's got some cool eyes on the top. That white one is really neat. You can see all the layers. Has a pretty good fracture on it right there too, but it was something I didn't want to tumble till it was gone because we would have made a rock a lot smaller. Had another little guy right there. There's another one with some quartz. Some nice bands on the bottom there. A little bit of agate on top of the quartz yet. Well, I think we're about... This one's got a little bit... The banding on this one looks more like other agates I've seen more than the Bahias. And the rest of it is fairly boring if I remember right. It doesn't have a lot going on. And it was broken. I didn't cut this one. But you just have those bands that you can see on the inside. I like those. Uh, here's a pretty thin one. But you can see that there's quartz on the inside. And then I think, yeah, the, the quartz hangs out on that edge, and also it hangs out on that edge. So you can see agate and quartz running all the way through this thing. I'm assuming if I would have cut it, the middle of it would have been mostly quartz, but I'm not sure. It's pretty good size just then. Little chip right there. And it's got that fracture running through it, too. I was afraid it was going to break, but it didn't. You can't really, well, you can kind of see it on this side, so there must not be much holding it together. This guy's more, has more transparency than some of the other ones do with some bands. This one's got like a, almost like a bullseye or a fingerprint maybe on it in the banding. Not too much excitement on that side. Again, it's kind of darker like that one that was all fractured up. Must have something to do with the different minerals or whatever that was in it when it was forming. Kind of changes the colors if I am understanding that correctly. So I think we'll go ahead and take a look at my favorite out of this run. This big dude. It's got lots of bands going on on the outside and lots of cool, the reds and the yellow colors. I really like this one and it was one of the bigger ones and it's got a fracture in it every here and there and I really wanted to cut this one to see what was on the inside but it was so almost perfect on the outside when I got it that... Uh, I just wanted to tumble it and keep it whole. And the day may come where I might decide to cut this and see what those crazy bands look like on the inside. But I'm not ready for that yet. That's why we just polish it up. And I mean, that's a pretty good size one. I mean, it's about the size of two golf balls side by side. Not quite that big, but close. Maybe a couple of ping pong balls. It was the biggest one in the run. And like I say, it was the most perfect on the outside, and it had some pretty cool stuff that you could already see on the outside, so I just decided let's run it the way it is, and I'm glad I did. But I may change my mind someday and decide to cut it, but pretty tough for me to take a rock that I've already spent all this time on and got it all polished and looking nice and decide to just throw it in the saw. But that day may come. We'll see. So other than that, we just have a few others. This one's got a little quartz pocket in it. 
Actually, I think on this one, I'll bring it back over here. It's got the quartz with the bands, and then you can see the quartz on the other side too. Has some bands going on there. But that one's pretty neat. And that's about all for these ones. I'd say they turned out pretty well overall. And uh, I'm sure we'll end up tumbling again some of these again. And uh, I guess that's all we have for today. So if you enjoyed our video, please subscribe, give us a like, and thanks for watching.